That's Polly Farmer's second for the match, and there he is. He's uh, been a wonderful player for Geelong all day. The scoreboard, Geelong 8-8, 56. St Kilda, 2-10, 22. The ball is back in the centre, and here's umpire Frank Swab. Bouncing the ball, up is Viner, hooks the ball down. Rosano driving, driving it forward to the half-forward line, looking for Waller. The ball knocked away by Apted. Apted plays on, he's tackled by Viner. He gets his kick, the ball goes wide to the flank. Running in, there's five for St Kilda Stewart. He slides to the ground. The ball kicked away by Peter Walker coming through, number 34. And it's over the line again, out of bounds on the centre wing. Number 12 is Hines. Number 10 is Dittrich, getting up on the ruck, knocking, knocking the ball down. Over here it's O'Brien, he misses the run of the ball, coming in as Gocker, number 35, 38 is Stevens. the whistle goes, the ball up. On the half-forward line for Geelong, on the outer side of the ground. There's the bounce, O'Brien knocks the ball down, the St Kilda Rover, coming in is Rollins, Rollins on the half-forward line, sends it forward, down towards Stevenson in the full forward zone, up they go, a mark for Geelong, on that last line of defence, and it's Watts. Well, Watts has demonstrated in the match today that he can pull down the big mark. Watts on this occasion is right on the last line of defence. Drop kicks the ball back for Geelong to the half-back line. Stevens goes up, one-handed, can't pull the mark down. It's taken here for Geelong on the centre wing position now by Hines, who handballs it away. The whistle goes, and uh, it wasn't a legitimate hand pass because uh, he's been penalised for throwing the ball. Reed takes the kick, gets to the half-forward line. The whistle goes, and the mark is being awarded to the St Kilda player. Morton, who has come on in this final quarter. Morton with the ball on the centre-half forward position. There's the big punt kick by Morton down towards Bill Stevenson at full forward. Up they go. Stevenson can't pull the mark down. Picked up by Guyatt. Ooh, a quick pass by Guyatt. Cross to Stevenson. Stevenson's in trouble. He handballs it away. A chance here. Right in front of goal for Geelong to clear it away. They do so through the agency of Stuart Lord. Back to the half-back flank position where the ball is taken by Hines. Hines is in trouble, gets out of it well. Hunt kicks the ball to the centre wing for Geelong. Up is Sharrick, and Sharrick takes the mark. And also a whack on the head to go with it, Don. Yes, he got a whack on the head as a St Kilda player ran past. Uh, an accidental one. And Sharrick with the ball on the centre wing after a good mark. This fellow, too, is also a good mark. And Geelong have been fortunate in some of the recruits that picked up this season. There's a short pass to Wooler. Wooler goes under the ball. It's still on the centre wing. A chance here for Ian Sinman of St Kilda to clear. He does so. The ball comes back to the um, half-forward line. Taken over here for uh, St Kilda now by Cody. Cody uh, drives the ball along the ground. It's not a good kick. It's still on their half-forward line. Coming through is Terry Callan for Geelong. He fumbles the ball on the ground. The whistle is gone, and here's a bit of a box on. Rosano's in there. Not very happy. Oswald is there, too. 38 is Stevens. Getting up off the ground is Cody, who is holding his knee, and uh, he could be hurt. No, he's uh, jogging back into position. Let's hope he's OK. Billy Goggin with a kick on the centre wing, driving it forward to find Viner. As Cody going off the ground for St Kilda, he uh, must have hurt his leg... Um, uh, much worse than we thought, and Cody is off and coming on as Ross Smith. In the meantime, it's Viner driving the ball forward, for Geelong to the half-forward line, where the mark is taken in defence, for St Kilda by Head on the half-back flank. Head's been a fine player all day for St Kilda. There's a kick by Head, it's up to the centre wing position. Oh, Dittrich flew up, couldn't mark the ball, coming through as Watts. He's tried to give the ball to Rice. Rice has grabbed, we're not in possession, and must take the free kick. Geelong, 8-8, eight, eight, leading St Kilda, two goals, 10. And a throw-in is about to take place from the centre wing position on the outer side of the ground. Stewart is hurt, he's been attended by the trainers, with uh, St Kilda being unable to replace him, they've got both the reserves in. Here's one of them now, Ross Smith. He gets a ball, sends it forward, but two no one except the Geelong player and Jeff Rosano all on his own, and it's been all Geelong. Here's a kick by Rosano, a beautiful one. <laughs> Equally good play by Geelong here. It's all Geelong as here, playing around with the opposition with hand pass. Sharrick is the last recipient. He gets a left foot to the ball, sends it right into Ward's goal, but it's not quite accurate enough. One point to make Geelong now, 8-9, leading St Kilda 2-10. And some statistics for the, mar for the match. St Kilda have had 31 free kicks to Geelong's 20. They have taken 48 marks to Geelong's 62. Geelong 
by far the superior side after quarter time. Best players to date for Geelong, Devine, Farmer and Stuart Lord and Gocken. There's Russ Smith with the ball now from the kickoff. He's in trouble and the ball up will result. Best players for St Kilda, Bordock, Sinman, Head, Stewart and Reed. There's the ball up. Farmer gets a tap down. It's taken by Wooler from a punt by Morrow. Wooler runs in towards goal and comes right off the side of the boot. Hits the behind post and out of bounds as a result. But Geelong are once more right in attack. Some of the huge crowd have decided it's all over. They're getting an early start back to Melbourne. There's a throw in. Ditwich on this occasion knocks it down, but it's Rice that picks it up. And I think he's swung it out of bounds again. No. One point, says the umpire. Could have fooled me. That makes Geelong now eight goals, ten. Six clear goals ahead of St Kilda, as St Kilda are only two goals, ten. And we've been playing 17 minutes in the last quarter. Howell kicking off, favouring the grandstand side. It's a big punt kick. Up goes Sharrock, can't pull it down, either can Farmer. It can't be a mark here, it must be a ball up. And this is what umpire Frank Swab has said, as uh, Farmer comes up with the ball. A ball up on Geelong's half-forward line. And here's Morrow taking the ball out of the air. He handballs it away, looking for Reed. Reed takes the ball, turns well from the half-back line. Reed drives the ball along the centre wing position, but his kick is astray, and it's out of bounds in front of the grandstand at Cadinia Park. 18 minutes of play gone in the final quarter. Geelong 58 and Kilda 22. Taken out of the air again by Morrow, who handballs it again to Reed. The whistle goes. A free kick to Alan Morrow, holding the man, and Morrow takes the free kick on the centre wing. There's a drop kick by Morrow, across to the half-forward line. Up is Morton, one hand, can't hold the mark. Murray comes in, the ball knocked away from him by Stuart Lord. And Stuart Lord clears the ball for Geelong from the half-back line, down to the half-forward line towards Busfield. Busfield up, can't quite hold the mark, a chance for Sinman of St Kilda. He puts the ball back again with a punt kick to the flank position, over towards Morton. Morton uh, misses the run of the ball. It's taken over here by um, Walker. Walker, a drop kick for Geelong to the centre half-forward position, and right into the hands of a teammate here in Polinelli. Colin Alley on the centre half forward position, plays on, a short pass to Goggin, Goggin plays on, along the flank position, a handball across to um, Hines, Hines back again to uh, Goggin, Goggin across to Rice, it's good football by Geelong, and here's Rice having the deliberate shot towards goal, up they go, knocked away from Farmer, and it's through for one point to Geelong. Well, that demonstrates the, um, the wonderful teamwork being displayed by Geelong, they're well on top. Geelong 59, St Kilda 22. Burden Howell kicking off, a punt kick up to the half-back line. Farmer sets himself up behind a Sharrock. And again, Sharrock demonstrating uh, his good marking by pulling that one down. There's a left foot kick by Sharrock towards Doug Wade. Wade sets himself up over the top of him is Ditrich. Ditrich marks it, but it's a free kick against St Kilda. Be taken by Doug Wade, who was interfered with in going for the ball on that occasion. Dittrich is rather volatile. He's unhappy about that mark being taken away from him and umpire Swab's given uh, Doug Wade an extra five yards pullback. Well, here's Doug Wade. He shouldn't have any trouble putting this one through. He's an accurate kick. And there's the punt kick by Wade. Right through the middle. That's the fifth goal kicked by Geelong's champion pull forward, Doug Wade, who's been out of the game for a couple of weeks after the heavy knock he got against Essendon a few weeks ago. But um, he's right back to top form again. And what a wonderful player he is. There's a score, 9-11, 65 to St Kilda, 2 10 22. It tells its own story. Since quarter time, St Kilda have been outclassed by Geelong, who are showing premiership football. There's a ball up. Morrow gets a tap down. Free kick goes to Morrow. Farmer was in his back on that occasion. Morrow's right in the centre of the ground. On his mark is Stevens. It's a kick by Morrow out to the forward flank. No one can mark it. Almost pulled down by Callum there, who's a long way out from goal. The ball's kicked across the boundary line, right underneath the scoreboard, and a throw-in is about to take place. Number five is Farmer. Number eight is Morrow. Neither of them get a decisive knockdown. The ball's kicked forward for St Kilda, but out in front of Steve-O is West. Well in front. Big Bill has had a chance early in the game. He's kicked only four points from some reasonably easy shots but he's always been noted as being, being an unreliable kick. There's West's kick, it's a good one, out to the centre wing position. 
Farmer with his handball. Lovely handball on this occasion. It's not the best. It doesn't go straight to a man, but Geelong are toying with the opposition as Farmer receives a handball back. Looking for Viner. Viner overruns the ball, gets a foot to it. No one can pick it up. It's rather scrambled. His players are still throwing themselves in. There's Cross for St Kilda. He kicks the ball up to the wing position, and a mark has been taken here by O'Brien. He immediately handballs across to Oswald. Oswald sends a big boot down to the wards of centre forward position. Walker comes through for Geelong. He handballs it across to, uh, to Devine, and Devine clears it to the centre of the ground. No one can mark the ball. Coming through now is Aphead. He's clear. He handballs across to Ross Smith, the reserve. Smith back to Reed. His good footballers St Kilda are in attack. Reed's looking for uh, the teammate in Morton. Can't do so. Morton's too slow on this occasion. Stuart Lord's far too fast for him. Still battling the ball along, trying to get himself clear. Can't do so. Push in the back and a free kick will go to Stuart Lord. He battled that ball about 40 to 50 yards along the ground and the crowd are very appreciative and they're showing that with a lot of applause. Bill Stevenson has not had a kick uh, since half time. Still, the ball hasn't been down there much. There's a kick by Lord. It's up to the half forward flank. No one can pick it up. Watts is in there using his weight. The ball's been forced forward to uh, Polinelli. Polinelli gets a long left foot in. Wade marks. Wade marks. Yes, he's taken it. Burton Howell thinks he's touched it, but uh, maybe he did. But umpire Frank Swab has said, well, bad luck. It's, I've given the decision, and it's going to Wade. Wade 40 yards out, 30 yards out from goal on his right angle for his right foot kicking, could be kicking his sixth goal. In he comes. No, he doesn't. That's his first point for the day. His second point for the day. He's kicked five goals, two, in a good exhibition in a comeback game. Well, there's Doug Wade. As Jim just said, a good uh, exhibition today after being out for a few weeks. And now it's in Kilda to come back through Verdon Howell as he kicks off. Up to the half-back line, comes the ball up to Sharrick. Can't mark it, a chance for Watts. Watts uh, 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 elects to Shepard Sharrick, but the ball is uh, over the line. Out of bounds on the half-forward line for Geelong. Geelong 66 and Kilda 22. There's a throw-in, knocked down by Farmer, taken by uh, Roland of St Kilda. From the half-back line, he puts the, ball, puts the ball back again to the centre. There's a chance for Oswald. Oswald fumbling the ball. He might lose it here. It's in the centre of the ground. Stuart Lord in there, bustling him. Coming through as Polinelli. But good play by Oswald as he picks the ball up, gets it to the half-forward line. The mark is taken by Stewart. His kick is smothered. A chance for Ross Smith of St Kilda. He taps the ball across towards Stewart. Stewart from the half-forward line has a long shot in towards goal. A chance down here for St Kilda. Knocked forward by Walker. And Walker taps the ball along in front of him. Forge along and clears along the flank position. Eventually picks it up and drives it up to the half-back line where it's over the line. Good play, Geelong. Good play, Peter Walker. Geelong's defence has been on top all day, and this is where St Kilda have broken down, particularly across the half-forward line, with the exception of Baldock. The throw-in on the half-forward line for St Kilda. Up is Morrow, takes the ball out of the air, gives it to Wallace. Wallace, a left foot kick in towards goal for St Kilda. It's bouncing here, a chance for Walker again to clear. He falls over at the crucial moment. Looks for a hand, there's some other hand pass too. He's caught by O'Brien. Hand balls it away eventually. It's still in front of the St Kilda goal. Coming in as number 12, that's Hines. Picking it up as Morrow. Morrow hand balls to Ross Smith. A chance here. Ross Smith shooting in towards goal. His kick is smothered and it goes right across and it's out of bounds of the St Kilda forward pocket. <coughs> 25 minutes of play gone in the final quarter. The ball is on the half-forward line for St Kilda. There's a free kick going Geelong's way on this occasion. And it's to be taken by Darrell Stevens, who came on at half-time to replace the injured Alistair Lord. There's the kick by Stevens to the centre wing. Up is Reed. Can't hold the mark. Coming through is Apted of St Kilda. Apted, a drop kick to the half-forward line. Up is Morton. Over the top of him was Rosano. Neither player marks it. Coming through is Peter Walker. He gets it across to uh, Stuart Lord. He kicks it back to the centre for Geelong. No one marks it here. Picked up by Sidman. He's tackled by Brushfield. Gets it across to a teammate in um, a cross. Cross uh, plays it forward for St Kilda to the half-forward line. Morrow went high, couldn't mark it, taken by Ross Smith. He gives it across to Reed. Reed's in trouble as he tackled by Farmer. A chance here for Stevens on the half-back line for Geelong. He takes the ball, but his kick is wide, and it's out of bounds again on the half-forward line for St Kilda. The scoreboard tells the story. Geelong 9-12, St Kilda 2-11. 27 minutes of play gone in the final quarter. And we await the throw-in on the half-forward line for the Saints. And the ruck is Farmer and Morrow. Up in front is Farmer. Knocked away by Morrow. Into the hands of Ross Smith. Ross Smith handballs it back, looking for Wallace. Wallace drives the ball forward for St Kilda. Up is Stevenson. 
taken by Callum. Callum clears it back again, but it's Stevenson's mark. It's being brought back again, and Big Bill has a chance here to redeem himself. If Bill can kick this one, this will be his first goal. He's already kicked four points. Bill Stevenson right in front of goal for St Kilda. There's no doubt about this one. It's right through the middle, and it's Stevenson's first goal. And it's also his first kick since half time. The ball has hardly been up to the teeth of goals for St Kilda, and, and uh, his limp opportunities have been very limited. But still, one goal four from the full forward is uh, not sufficient. There's the scoreboard, 66 points Geelong, way ahead of St Kilda in the dying moments of the game. St Kilda, 3-11, 29 points. Umpire Swab about to, ba about to bounce the ball in the centre. Does so, up goes Farmer in front, gets a tap down. No one can get it though, it's stacks on the Millers. Bulldog see the ball's been given across to Gog and he's too fast for the St Kilda Rovers. Out to Brusfield, he can't mark the ball. Coming in there is Polinelli with great pace, but it's over, everyone overruns the ball. Brusfield coming in the back, snips it up to Wade. And Wade nearly marks, can't do so, up there defending well. Kicks the ball out to the flank again from where it came. And rushing in there is Stewart. And he marks for St Kilda on the outer wing. Looks for Baldock. Baldock, one of the few occasions he's been unguarded today. Baldock kicks it up to uh, the half-forward flank. Been picked up there and handballed across it. Intercepting beautifully as Peter Walker. He's been, had two bounces, running a long way with the ball. Gets a boot to it, sends it down to centre half-forward. And Farmer marks, plays on, gives it to Polinelli. Polinelli tries to find Wade, can't do so. Howls over, Wade gets the ball. He's aiming for his sixth goal. No, he hand punches across to Watts, and Watts runs in to get the easiest of goals. Good play, Geelong, really good football, premiership football, and John Watts must be happy with that. He's been a good player for Geelong today, given them added strength in the ruck, and this is something that they lacked, I felt, last year, and uh, they must be happy with Watts' performance. Geelong 10 12, 72, St Kilda 3 11, 29. The final siren about to go at any moment with Geelong home and hosed. There's the bounce in the centre by Frank Swan. Knocked down by Wallace. Chance for Ross Smith. He balks nicely around Doggan and puts St Kilda forward. A punt kick down towards the full forward zone. Behind a Stevenson who comes up, can't hold the mark. Taken by Roy West. He's in trouble. Handballs it away. Looking for Rosano. Rosano takes the ball for Geelong. A short pass up to the flank position. The mark is taken by Devine. Devine steadies. A drop kick to the centre wing. And the mark is taken by Sharrick. Sharrick on the centre wing position. A short pass across and finds Goggin. Doggan with a chance to put the ball further forward for Geelong. A short pass, looking for Wooler, a beautiful lead by Wooler, and it's all Geelong at the moment. They're playing beautiful football, copybook football. Wooler is on the half-forward line. And in the dying moments of the game, with Geelong well and truly the winners, Wooler comes in to take his kick. Drop kick by Wooler. Big pack flying for the ball. Chance for Ross Smith to knock it away, gets it across to Wallace. Wallace of St Kilda gets it back to the centre. Oswald couldn't hold the mark, taken by Stewart. A left foot kick by Stewart of St Kilda. Down to the half forward line up is Rosano, and Rosano takes the mark for Geelong on the half back line. It's a kick by Rosano, and there's the siren for the end of play at Cadinia Park with the final scores Geelong 10 goals, 12 behind, 72 points, defeating St Kilda, 3 goals, 11 behinds, 29 points.